Alright guys, and we are here. I thought I was going to end the video, but I said, you know what, forget it. We're just going to go ahead and... That must be it. Yeah, it looks like the monster that hotel is on is do asked us to deal with. Laura Fee, are you two ready? Of course. I like to ask that you put Fee and myself on the front line for this battle. That's as good as a chance as any. Now I just gotta say something right quick. Hostile spotted. Beginning combat. Of course. Wow. You they're still not connecting. Oh no. They're still not connecting. And I have to say something. Um B and Laura ended up getting some really good shit off camera, dude. Really good shit. Like really Oh, what the hell is going on? No <laughs> you see, now you see that? How much damage she just did? And, um... Now this is... I'm gonna show you why this attack is so good. It has a chance to kill. To instantly kill. <laughs> See what she just did. Okay, she didn't kill nobody with that time. Sweet baby Jesus. Real deal trigger turn. And when she spins, everybody was like. Did you see that? That was so dope. Oh my god. Did you see what she just did, y'all? Did you see what she just did? And this Gale move? If they didn't do what she just did, this Gale move would have taken care of everything on the map. Like, this Gale move is so good. It's too good, in fact. Alright, so we need to scan this thing. This thing. And we're gonna use your boy to uh, do just that. What the? What happened? Oh, what happened? Damn, that's crazy. Why did that happen? I wonder why that happened like that. Get around my blade. I love when he says that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, ah. Come on. Yow. Oof. Okay. Did you see the, the damage she just took? That's a lot of damage to be used to. Who go for that? My turn. Focus activate. Mm -hmm, he's confused. I heard that sound effect. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. And he's confused. Ow! 
Zero hearts, huh? him to sleep. Damn, that sucks. Oh, that sucks, because she's going to do an attack. It's going to be a crit. See what I mean? Hey, he woke up. Too good with these status elements, I promise you. K hell. Jesus. That's crazy, dude. He died to burn, dude. Oof, three. Oof. That sounds lovely. That sounds lovely if I do say so myself. The link said what happened, y'all. Say so myself. Happen, you know? Well, that was bad. You know, maybe you should just stop worrying about trying to form a combat link with each other. Surviving. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I can see why you'd really want to. No. Hmm? I don't want to hold our group back more than I already have. 
I'd like to withdraw from active combat and take a more supporting role for the duration of this field study. What the heck? We need you! What? Huh? Why? But Laura, it doesn't make any sense for you not to be in the thick of the fight. Wait! Don't be ridiculous. If anyone should be benched, it's me. It makes sense when you consider what each of us brings to a fight. No. My own immaturity is the cause of this. There's still a bit refuses to accept you, and this is the result. What is going on, Laura? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't think I was this narrow-minded. And I apologize for the distress my prejudice has no doubt been causing me. I came to realize during my club activities that I still have a lot of maturing left to do. What is going on with Laura? Like, what is it? Laura? As such, Reen, I wish to withdraw. Denied. Withdraw. Denied. Damn, thank God. There's no way I'm letting you do that. I'll be the one withdrawing from frontline combat. Oh my God, this is the second time he's done that. What? Huh? Reen? That's the second time he's done that. What's your line of thinking? Same thing he did with Machias and Uses. During all the battles we fought, one thing stood out to me. I couldn't help but notice that under ordinary circumstances, Laura and Fee's fighting styles complemented perfectly. I... Well... You think so? Interesting. What do you mean? Laura's the ideal knight, standing strong in the thick of the fight, dominating enemies with her blade. Then there's Fee, the ideal vanguard, overwhelming the opposition with their speed and creating openings for Laura. During the practical exam, none of us should have stood a chance against the two of you. Right. Hmm. When you put it that way, it does make sense. If they could form a combat link, they'd be virtually unstoppable. Alright. Power and speed. If you have I've always said that. Like in a fighting game, if you got somebody who's powerful. And they have speed, you're perfect, dude. Yeah. You're perfect. I don't think that's a ski either. That's why you keep trying to form a combat link, but there's something stopping you from connecting with each other. Whatever it is, it's been frustrating both of you this whole time, right? Mm hmm. It's exactly as you say. Okay, so, since that's how things stand, it makes no sense for you two to just give up and withdraw from combat. In fact, considering everyone's relative strengths and weaknesses, it makes the most sense for me to fall back. This way, you'll have more chances to work out whatever it is that's standing in the way of you forming a link. You have my thanks. We'll take you up on your offer then. That's what I like to hear. <sighs> you really can't be audacious sometimes, you know. Just like you were with me and Eusis. Yep. You think? I don't really think I did anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, you talk to the back. <laughs> That's so you, Reen, to not think anything of it. Still, thanks to you, there might be hope for these two after all. We'll do what we can. But first, we need to get back to the hotel, right? Yep, I got a ways. I'm a little surprised they didn't put anything in this room. <laughs> so I guess we're on our way to uh, the hotel, I guess. Oh shit. It's a. Uh, is it just me or do you guys hear a sonata? I do. In the distance. Or is that G? I do hear music very faintly. Violin and the flute. Quite an elegant piece too, from the sound of it. Doesn't sound pretty. Sound pre-recorded either. I think the sound is filtering down here from the surface. Mm -mm, this way. It's a secret passage. 
thanks to your basket, yep, just said that. Music does seem to be louder here than it was before. Do you know I feel like I've heard this sound before. It was that G bastard. Hmm. Oh god, somebody was behind me too. Idea there was a mechanism like this in our underground passage. You can hear the melody more clearly in here. Clearly now. It's like this leads out to the surface. Okay. Here it goes. I thought it was G. He was right behind my ass. Hey, hey. More items. Okay. Bitch. Give me this. Oh shit. Oh man. Alright, so let's see what we got going here. Oh these guys. Now's our chance. We can do this. These guys are actually pretty good experience. So I really hate that every game. Crazy. Because I instantly killed him, as you can see. She brings him in and bang off. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Locked and loaded. You won't get away. My turn. Machius. I see you, my dude. Like everybody is hitting hard as shit right now. Like, I'm loving this game right now. Shut up. <clears throat> Alright, let's keep going. Out there, liquor. Hmm. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. Return, huh? Alright. Secret passage, right? Alright, so we still got a little, little some something to take care of, and then this guy. Bitch. And we are out. There's a light. The sound's getting louder too. Yeah, it is. We must be getting close <clears> to <throat> the exit now. It wasn't G. I thought it was G actually. Isn't this Matter Park? If so, we're not far from the city at all. Oh wow, this looks nice. Oh my god, look at that place. I would have guessed that those underground tunnels would split us out somewhere like this. The layouts remained unchanged since it was created during the Dark Ages. You can really feel the city's history. It seems like the network of acids here is even bigger than Berea Hart's underground waterway. That's what it got out of me of. Hey, Elliot. Is something wrong? Oh, sorry. I was listening to the Sonata, then I realized that the musicians playing it over it there are actually friends of mine. They look like students. Hmm. They seem exceptionally skilled for their age. Oh, they are. I really, I'm really for them. Hmm. Um, would you guys mind if I went over and said hey? That was it. Go ahead. Perhaps we should go and greet them too. Crystal Garden. Sounds pretty cool. Hey, look at the good pig. Hey, he a big boy.
Wait. Uh, Elliot? Elliot, you're back? Hey, great to see you again, Morris. You too, Ron. Palenka? Palenka? Feels like forever since you've been around. Hey, <laughs> you seem like you're doing well. So who are your friends? We're Elliot's classmates at Thor's Military Academy. It's a pleasure to meet you. It seems we're all about the same age, too. So you're Elliot's hometown friends, huh? Which school uniform is that? <clears throat> well, we're students at the Music Academy. Music, huh? Yeah, it's an academy that puts the main focus on music. The school itself is on the outskirts of this district. A lot of famous musicians have graduated. Well, that explains why you all play so well. <laughs> thanks. Our academy always plays for the concert they hold during a summer festival every year. Classes are over for the day. We're just adding a little polish before our performance. Alright, this does seem like the perfect place to practice. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe how good you, you've all gotten, though. I mean, you were always great, but you've improved a ton. You must have really been practicing. You really think so? Well, we have been practicing. I'm practicing hearing the songs in my sleep now. That's <laughs> so true. I guess I'd be pretty disappointed if after all that, we weren't getting at least a little better. I just wish you were here at the music, yeah, music academy with us. <clears throat> oh, don't misunderstand. Thoris has a really good re reputation and all. So, are you still practicing the violin? Yeah, I'm in, cl in club practice. I ended up in the Academy's Wind Orchestra, actually. I'm glad to hear it. You were really good. I hate to hear you get you you'd giving it up. Hopefully, we'll get another chance to play together someday. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. Oh, is it that time already? We better be getting back to the Academy. The festival will be here before you know it. And we got practice in it, too. I do admire your dedication to your craft. If you've got some free time, it'd be great if you could come and see us perform a concert. I guess we're all more than merrier. Thanks, looking forward to it. See you later, Elliot. Alright, later. Elliot? Hey, are you? Ha. <laughs> nah, it's not that. <clears throat> anyway, how about we swing by the hotel to give our report, then head back to my house? This is probably busy cooking up a storm right now. Okay, let's be out then. <clears throat> Underground pass, yeah, sure. Weed! And we got some civic maps. That ain't half bad. Enjoying a wonderful meal prepared by Fiona. <laughs> she's probably humming and stuff. Well, then again, she's probably thinking about music. Damn, look at all this shit. Jeez. Jeez, man. They got some guitars in there, though? I don't see any guitars yet. <laughs> this is incredible. He could open a shop with all the instruments here. A piano, violins, wind instruments, a robust percussion section. I'm assuming the papers in the cabinet are all she- Yep. There's no way you can call this just a hobby. <laughs> yeah, coming in here, this must look like some rabid obsession to you guys. Oh, this is his room. You know, my- What the hell? Being raised around music like that, my sister and I ended up sharing her love of music. Really? This is... That's crazy. Looking at all this, I can see why you decided to join the wind orchestra at the academy. He has a, he has a piano in his fucking room. Still... That's crazy. Why didn't you go to the same school as the people we met earlier? Fee? Wait, Fee, that's not... <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sure this comes as no surprise. But I'd originally planned to attend the music academy. 
<sighs> My sister and I grew up listening to our mom play the piano. Dad was more the strong, stoic type. He didn't know much about it. Our home was always filled with the sound of music, and it kept our family smiling together. Alright. But seven years ago, Mom got really ill. Eventually, mm. she passed away. Fuck. After her death, my sister and I both wanted to follow in her footsteps. She enrolled at the music academy and began working toward a career as a pianist. Naturally, I tried to do the same, but Dad wouldn't hear of it. You want him to go to the academy? Have it as a hobby. You have a man of the empire making his living through an absurd. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, he just shook his head and refused to listen. Uh. Then he started recommending one military academy after another, trying to push me toward a career in the army. Uh. Eventually, I didn't have much choice. I'd give up my dream of attending the music academy. Mm. Damn. I hated that. I, I really did. I can see why. No good at fighting. Never have been get smoked in a real war. But after some research, I found one academy, Thor's, offered plenty of classes, and that about half of its graduates end up in careers outside the military. In the end, I met him halfway and chose to enroll at Thor's. <laughs> Kinda pathetic, huh? You've all got great reasons why you're there at the academy. Then there's me, who'd rather be on a stage than a battlefield. But I couldn't go against my dad. For a while, I started to think that maybe my passion for music had kind of cooled off. But I'm still full of regrets about the Music Academy and the Summer Festival concert, so I guess it hasn't after all. Oh, I wish I could just crawl into a hole right now. So that's how you ended up in Thor's. I had no idea. <sighs> Do you regret it? Coming to Thor's and all? Huh? Of course not. Why would I? Huh? So... Life at the Academy keeps me... Damn, my bad, my I still have time to perform with the wind orchestra after class is out. I did not expect him to say something with me. And I, feel like I thought Steve really was on the perception to Every time we go on a field study. Honestly, I feel like I get more out of Thor's than if I had just enrolled at the Music Academy without much thought. Maybe it's because whether I decide I want to be a musician or do something else totally different, I'll at least have the chance to choose what I want, deciding for me. Right. Oh, I like that answer. Wow. You've really given this a lot of thought. You really are strong, Elliot. <laughs> I wish I thought. I still feel jealous when I see my friends who went to the music academy putting their heart and soul into their music. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Besides, if I hadn't come, I never would have met you guys, would I? I'd regret that way more. How can you say that with a straight face? Maybe he's just oblivious. <laughs> I didn't think I was saying anything particularly embarrassing. <laughs> I figured that most people would blush saying something like that. <laughs> Still, this is Elliot we're talking about. He can get away with it. Wow. You're the last person who should be Irene. Actually, I just remembered. I guess I do have one regret after all. <laughs> what is it? Remember the summer festival concert my friends said they're going to be performing in? Back when my mom was still alive, she performed in it. And my sister played in it five years ago too. So he never played in it. So I was really hoping that I'd be able to take the stage there one day too. Oh. Damn. I see you, Elliot. Damn. After Elliot decided to take the opportunity to spend the night at home, so the remaining four of us began to make our way to the gear building where we had been spending the night.
can't believe it's already past nine. We ended up staying at Elliot's long, longer than I thought. Yeah, I wasn't expecting her to break out the coffee after our meal, too. She even invited us back for breakfast tomorrow. We hardly, we've hardly been here a day, and she's already my favorite person. <laughs> we have to thank her properly at some point. Still, you know, I've lived here all my life. But it's only now I've been running around doing field study tasks that I'm realizing just how big this city is. Yeah, I'll bet. They're just going to slip tomorrow's task in the guild mailbox, right? Yeah, they should be delivered first thing tomorrow morning. Considering how organized my father is, I don't doubt they'll be delivered on time, though I do worry what we're in for. I have this terrible feeling for us to task far more difficult than we actually can handle with something. Yeah, I see what you mean. All the more reason we should finish up our report and hit the sack early, I suppose. Hey, what's wrong with you two? You tired or something? You've been awfully quiet. No, not really. However, listening to Elliot has finally shown me what I must do. Hey, whoa, look at her face. I challenge you to do it. What? <gasps> Okay. Tonight, right? Yes, tonight. I fear I won't be able to sleep until this has been resolved. Oh my god. Hold on a minute. Where did this come from, a dude? What are you talking about? Exactly what it sounds like. V and I will face each other in a single combat to determine a victim. That's all. Oh, that's all? Are you kidding me? Well, you can't do it in a populated area like this. Especially not at night, you waked up the whole neighborhood. How about the park we were in earlier? Matter Park, I think? That seems an ideal venue. The area around this exit from the underground passage should be nice and quiet. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. But honestly, Rain, you're not just gonna go along with this, are you? Oh, shush it. The capital might have had a headache, have a headache at night, nightlife. There's no excuse to cause an emotion. <sighs> Alright, let's head over to the park then. The trams are still running, right? They run until around 11. Are we seriously doing this? Apparently we're doing this, dude. Park scenery has an almost mystic air at night. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, look, not too many people taking a leisurely stroll at this hour. Hey, that may be true, but this is still the capital. You really shouldn't be fighting here. <sighs> How did it come to this? Put a sock in it, Marcus. I apologize for burdening, burdening, burdening you with this, but I'd appreciate you, appreciate you keeping watch. Oh, this is ridiculous. Anyway, let's move over to that gazebo we came out of uh, earlier. To that gazebo we came out of uh, earlier. Pleasant evening. It's pretty relaxing. No denying those two have some similarities. Hmm. I don't see any people in this part of the park. I'm fine with here if you are. <clears throat> uh. Okay. All right, Fee. Here are my conditions. If I win this duel, I want you to tell me about your past, your personal history. Oh. At first, there was something about your strength that I couldn't bring myself to accept. What? From the moment we first met, I could tell you were holding back. Mm. And considering your build, your combat proficiency is extraordinary. 
Right. It's simply too far removed from what I've come to know through following the way of the sword. No doubt. Really? Yeah, all things considered, Fee's strength is totally improbable for someone her size. Right. To add to that, you were once part of a Jaeger Corps. I can't say I've ever thought of the Jaegers in a particularly favorable light. Yeah, it's, it's clear she doesn't like them. If one defines knighthood as the way of the virtuous, how can the path of the Jaeger be seen as anything but corrupt? I came to believe that because we'd been raised with such strongly opposing values, I could not accept you. <gasps> However, I was mistaken. <laughs> After hearing Elliot's story, I asked myself again why it was that I felt such resistance to fighting alongside you. I tried to ascertain my own feelings, slowly and carefully. And that was when I finally realized, during all these months we spent together, I've known deep down that you were worthy of my trust. Our values had nothing to do with that judgment. It came from my heart alone. <sighs> but in my stubbornness, I refused to acknowledge that one simple truth. In my heart, I had already deemed you worthy of trust. Yet in my mind, I still couldn't see past our incompatibilities. I suspect that contradiction was what prevented us from using our Arcus to fight as one. <laughs> so, that's how it was. Did you know about this? Yeah, this during our fight with that monster earlier. You weren't the only one who thought we couldn't get along. Your life so... honestly. I guess somewhere along the way I'd given up on you ever accepting me. I see. Still. What does this have to do with wanting to know about my past? Why do you want to know? <laughs> it's very simple, really. I'm scared of this answer. To know because I like you. Okay, I thought I thought it was a, I was a little scared at first. What are you? I find it frustrating when I'm not able to understand those I've taken an interest in or have a high opinion of. I felt like this several months ago with Reen, and I feel the same way now. That's why I want to know your history. I want to know what shaped you into who you are now. That said, this is simply an act of self-indulgence on my part. Nothing more, nothing less. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. That's our lore, all right. You really are something else. It's fine. I don't mind telling you. But taking your spoils by force is the Jaeger's way through and through. Is that okay <laughs> with you? <laughs> it's fine. Because I have no intention of thinking of my reward as a spoil battle. I'd much rather consider it an honor, bestowed for a hard-won victory. Fine by me. You just talk things out. Why do you fight now? <laughs> Alright, I'll officiate your duel. Neither of you need to hold anything back. If I think it's getting too dangerous, I'll step in and stop the fight. Very well. Thanks. What is this music, bro? Wait a minute, what is going on with these oars? Wait a minute! Is Rin not gonna say anything? Oof. Oof. It's looking like a fighting game out here. Look at that! Oof. Oh god, they're using all their skills, bro. Oh. Oh, right under. Oh. Oh my goodness. Brilliant spin. Oh my god, Laura, for real. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was about to do S Crabs, bro. Did you see that? <laughs> oh my god, bro. 
I... I couldn't tell who won. What about you, Reen? I feel bad saying this after volunteering to be the judge, but as far as I could tell, it was a draw. Really? Huh. Well, I suppose it is what it is. I'll simply have to continue my training and challenge you again another time. And don't forget, I still wish to duel you as well. Wait, why me? Everybody's in way, why me? <laughs> Honestly. Actually, I lost this one. Huh? Jaegers are at our best when we fight at night. The darkness gives us an edge. But even after I threw out a flash grenade, the duel still ended in a draw. If we'd fought during the day, I would have lost. That's... She has a point. Well... <laughs> Very well. I'll accept this victory. Hmm. Well, anyway... I guess the two of us should go for a little stroll then. I don't mind if you listen. Is that fine with you, Laura? I have no objections. We're all in this together. Okay. I used to be part of a Jaeger Corps called Zephyr. Before that, my earliest memories are of explosions and battlefields. <clears throat> I found myself wandering in a war-torn hotspot on the outskirts of some country I never even knew the name of. Jaeger Corps threw themselves into battle for the highest bidder day after day, while I wandered alone. <clears throat> actually took me in called himself the Jaeger King. Ooh. He was the leader of Zephyr pretty famous Jaeger Corps. He was middle-aged, crafty, stubborn, and lucky. He always seemed so carefree, but he never let his guard down. To me, though, he was the closest thing to a father I've ever had. The other members of Zephyr had their quirks, but they were all nice to me. As time went on, I started helping with the cooking, the packing. During my free time, they started teaching me all kinds of skills I'd need to survive on the battlefield. One thing led to another, and I ended up fighting in my first real battle. I was... 10, I think. Damn! The boss was reluctant, but after the others persuaded him, he made me a full-fledged member of the group. Wow! For the next few years, we lived and fought together. I even picked up a nickname like some career Jaegers do. Sylphied. We roamed all across the continent together. There were hard times. Times when we thought we might not live through the night, but we always did. Together. Until last year. Mm. Damn it. Ah. It was a clash with another Jaeger Corps. The Red Constellation. Mm. People used to say they were the only other Jaeger Corps in West Zemuria who could match us. Their leader, a guy they called the War God, had been on bad terms with our boss for years. Eventually, the War God and the Jaeger King decided to settle things with one big duel. They kept going for three days and three nights. In the end, they both fell. Damn. The Zephyr I'd grown up with disbanded. All the members who were left just kind of scattered. I don't know where they went. Then, just like that, I was alone again. Just got nowhere to belong. Damn. I... I, I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say, Matthias. After that, you ended up coming to the Academy? Yep. Yeah. Just when I was wondering what I'd do next, Sarah showed up. Hey, She's sexy ass. Following the situation between Zephyr and the Red Constellation. That's Matt. I told her about what happened, and she dragged me to the Academy. She introduced me to the principal, and after the well, you know the rest. Did you see her, Sarah's hair back in the day? She must be really That's quite a history. Listening to you tell your story really brings into focus how limited my view of the world has been. But I feel like I finally know you. 
There's so much more I want to learn, of course, but at least this gives me a base to build on. How about it? Care to mix things up a little? <laughs> oh. Let's do it. Uh, excuse me? Bruh. Now wait just a minute. I oh, know, right? Oh no. <sighs> Should have known. Oh my god. Look at this man, he's happy. I've had this coming since the practical exam, huh? Hey, hold up, wait, no, nah, this ain't fair. I had uses on my team. Well, it's at your discretion. Oh, this isn't fair. I doubt either of us has the energy to fight at our peak. Give it a try. You've gotta be kidding me! We haven't got a chance against them! Why? This is a good opportunity to see what they can really do, right? <laughs> This is a little bonus for our field stuff. Give it the best we've got. Uh, mine. Oh no. The back. Yeah, I, I like how it's. I think his gun has changed. It's weird because a lot of like it seems like so I expect no like the weapons the weapons don't change out like out here, but it looks like Marcus's gun has changed. I don't know. Maybe it's at night. I don't know. <laughs> you have my thanks. She always says that. Oh my god. I'm not going to hold back. Fine, I'll do it. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm Laura and Fee? I thought I was gonna be Ring and Marcus! No way! No way! No way, dude! I see, you already know what I'm gonna do. Yikes. Right. 
Instantly killed him. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, did you see how much damage he just did to feed? Alright, let's do this! Alright, get in his ass, for real. AOE? We both get it? Oh, that's kind of stupid. No way. Oh my god, that's stupid. That is entirely stupid. No. Oh my god, bro. Why did she miss? That adamantine shoot is kind of stupid, man. Alright, we don't heal. It's kind of stupid, man. I mean, he thought she was going to get a turn. Selfie dance. True. Regular tune. She hit that her way harder than Patty. And he had darkness. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. Wow. That was crazy. We did it. Yeah, they didn't connect to like the last, the last minute. Uh huh. But they did. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> you two. It's like they're off in their own little world. <laughs> I think we've just witnessed the birth of an unstoppable duo. Right. Hey, what are you four doing? Oh shit. Oh crap. Uh oh. Students, are you from one of the local high schools? We received reports of a group causing a terrible racket in the park. What in Adios's name were you doing? <laughs> Please, sir, that this isn't what it might seem like. <laughs> what it might seem it's like. A perfectly reasonable, uh, though admittedly rather complicated explanation for all of this. <laughs> um, we're very sorry for any trouble we've caused. We tried to minimize the disturbance to others, but it seems we weren't totally successful there. Hmm. Perhaps dueling in the park wasn't as good of an idea as it first seemed. Maybe the underground tunnels would have been better. You know, it's a little late for such deep insights. Besides, who do you think were the ones who started this? Don't just act like you're some innocent bystanders. <laughs> that was hilarious. Hey! Alright, child, I see it. I see it. I love this game. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. Hey. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. A reward here for you. I love you says that. Keep up the good work. Alright, Sarah. Sarah! <laughs> Alright. I'm loving this game, man. This game's awesome. Field study day two. Hey, it's Elliot. Huh? Are they all still asleep? It's almost time for breakfast. Oh, it's you, Elliot. Sorry, we didn't mean to keep you waiting. What's wrong? You look exhausted. <coughs> you might say we had a pretty eventful night. 
these geriatrics. On the other hand, as you can see, we have gusto to spare. Isn't that right, Fee? <laughs> and you call yourselves men. Wow. You two just waltz around like that after last night. I, are you even human? Oh, well, just calm down. Wow. <laughs> what the heck did you guys do last night? The two of you look like you've been chased around town by wolves, but Fee and Laura are all buddy buddy now. Yeah, we'll catch you up on that later. First things first, let's grab the list of today's tasks from the mailbox. Uh. Alright, <laughs> let's see what we got, and we're gonna end the gameplay. Range up the day's task from the Guildbox Guildhouse's mailbox. At Fiona's insistence, they decided to have breakfast. Mmm. Man, this girl throws down. So that's what happened after you guys. I feel all left out now. Right. You have our apologies, but listening to you talk about your resolve yesterday strengthened my own. I simply couldn't wait any longer. Why don't you do to something earlier? Consider yourself lucky you didn't have to endure two hours of police questioning afterward like we did. <coughs> yeah, it's not the lack of sleep that gets you, it's the mental fatigue. Did you receive another packet of tash from the governor? Yeah, probably delivered first thing this morning before we even work. We were even awake. We'll look, we'll look them over once we finish this breakfast here. Agree. And <laughs> make sure you get plenty to eat so you have lots of energy for the day ahead. And there's plenty more where that came from if you can manage it. Look at this girl. You better watch out. You got a boyfriend? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Made for walking. I need someone to test a new product. Come to Lesage? Okay. Oh no, no, no. Our family kid our family's kitten has gone missing. Keaton? His name is Keaton, right? And they said something about a cat. You know what? I'm thinking about our, um not Ocarina Time, but George Mask. A terrifying monster has been sighted in an underground waterway near the Hemdal Port. Confirm the specifics with Dan Bertho, the or chief. Okay. Looks like we got quite a variety today, too. Yeah, long looks like it'll take us to an area we didn't get to see yesterday. Yep, the monster extermination request from Emdahl Port. We shouldn't have any problems getting there on the trams. Same for Matter Parks, where we were yesterday. We'll likely have to, uh, to visit a number of the locations today as well. Now, considering that the fits tomorrow, I suspect the city will be buzzing with excitement. So, no need to rush. <laughs> well, take care everyone. It'll be fun just walking around watching as everyone puts the finishing touches on the decorations. Right, right. Thanks, sis. Thank you very much for making us breakfast. Alright, let's get started. These jobs aren't gonna do themselves. Mm, and I love this city song. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so guys, we're gonna go ahead and take this time to end this episode. I I tag this episode along with the other episode, but this episode proved to be very eventful, very longer than what I expected it was gonna be. So yeah, this is gonna be episode. Um, this is gonna be episode on its own. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Summer. Always serves as a reminder that the hottest part of summer is about to begin. Apparently it used to be customary to clean your home and go around thanking people for favors this time of year. Not many people do that nowadays, but I think it's a wonderful idea personally. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but until then, I guess I will catch you guys later for more Trails of Cold Steel.